everyone and welcome to EduSurge Clinic's small talk series where we discuss some key topics related to surgical practice. Owing to a lot of demand over the last few weeks, we are starting a small series on CT abdomen anatomy with very basics and practical tips on how we see the CT abdomen. So for any doctor who is visiting a patient, it is very important that you understand how to see the scans. It is not for everyone to learn the physics of the scan, so it, it helps you to understand why a thing looks in a particular way in a CT or an MRI. But at least you should know how to identify the organs of your speciality and how to come to a diagnosis, how to plan surgery. So for all these steps, understanding the basics of how to see the CT on a console is very important. So in this series, this is the first video where we are going to see the CT abdomen anatomy. So this is going to be a very basic video. So for all of you who already know CT anatomy, this may be a very basic revision kind of video. But for anyone who wishes to learn how to see the CT scan on a console, how to identify different organs on the console, what are the different planes, then this video is going to be helpful to you. So let us dive into the console and see today's video. First, let us see the different planes in which you can see the abdomen on a CT scan. So the abdomen can be divided in a CT scan in three different planes. Of course, you can reformat and reconstruct the images into any plane. But for the films or the console images that you get, the basic planes are three, which is coronal, axial and sagittal. Now, how to remember this is very easy. When you can see a person in standing position in the film, like what you can see right now, this person you see is, this is a vertical image. So the person has been cut from head to toe, right? So when a person has been cut from head to toe, you can see the vertebra here as well. This is a coronal image, right? So this is a coronal image. In coronal image, you can go from anterior to posterior or posterior to anterior. On the other hand, when you see this image now, this is a person, you are seeing the person from a side. Right? This is the photo of a person. You can see the vertebra entirely at one end. You can see the contour of the abdomen at the other end. So here the person can be seen by you from a side. This is a sagittal image. So the side image is a sagittal image. Right? So in sagittal image, you can see person from one side to the other side. Right. So if I move this scan, you can go towards one kidney for just for example, this is a kidney. And when you go on the other side, you come back to the spine and then you can see the other kidney. Right. This is the other kidney. Of course, you will come to know this gradually as we see. But when you see a scan in a way that you are seeing a person from the side, it is a sagittal scan. And this is the last way in which the images can be given on the console, which is an axial scan. So when a person is cut into multiple slices from anterior to posterior, you can view the scan from above downwards, right? So the different slices that come when you like when you stack coins, Similarly, axial scans can be stacked one upon another and create an entire person, right? So axial scans are just like stack of coins for your easy understanding. The thickness of the coin is equal to the thickness of the slice of the axial cuts, right? So just like stack of coins, say there is a stack of 500 images that will form the CT abdomen axial cuts, right? So each 
when we move the console which is known as scrolling down or up when i scroll this is one coin go down another coin go down another coin go down another coin right so similarly when you keep going down this is a stack of coins and as you keep going down these are all axial cuts right so these are all axial cuts so i hope now you are clear the the three different type of cuts are coronal where you can see the person from the front to behind sagittal where you are seeing the person from a side and axial which is like stack of coins right so now we will go one by one and we will start seeing the different organs so let us start with the axial cuts now here you will have to understand a bit if you don't recall the anatomy you will have to recall the anatomy because the anatomy is the most important part to understand the organ location in the scan so as we know as we go from above downwards the first structure in the abdomen to come is the liver right and this we have already studied in our ct anatomy part so this organ this big organ so this is scrolling scrolling the axial cuts this big organ is the liver right this big organ is the liver now as we go down all of you know under surface of liver there is a fluid filled structure right this why this is fluid filled because this is less dense compared to liver right so this is gall bladder i'm just going to give you some organs which you can very easily identify right so this structure is the gall bladder okay so we have cleared two organs by now liver at the under surface of liver starts the gall bladder right this is the gall bladder now again going on to the liver level right how to know the vascular structures go towards the heart and if you notice this vascular structure which is anterior to the vertebra right is similar in color as the heart right it is enhancing so this is an arterial phase axial image and this structure is the aorta right this structure is the aorta so now when we go towards the abdomen you can easily make out this is tubular structure anterior to the aorta right this and as you keep going down what is happening is it is going like this right if you follow this structure i'll go up again you can see it very well here follow this structure above and you can see that it is forming a tube i'm keeping the cursor there it is between the heart and the aorta and this is that structure i am sure you know by now it is the esophagus right so this structure is the esophagus so now once you know the esophagus there are two structures which you can very easily identify now through the esophagus and that is the right and the left cross of diaphragm right very easy to identify the cross of the diaphragm because they are on either sides of esophagus as well as the aorta down esophagus opens into the stomach right now we will follow the stomach so stomach is going here right see this is how so this is why console is so useful you can see the entire contour of the stomach right this stomach stomach right going here and here right very easy to make out now black is air black is air black is air right so this structure is the duodenum this structure is the duodenum so this is how you can 
have fun with CT and learn at the same time. Right? Now all of us know to the left of stomach is an organ which is spleen. Right? So this is the spleen. So just to revise what we have learned in this video. Vertebra, anterior to vertebra is the aorta. Anterior to aorta is the esophagus. As you follow the esophagus down in the axial image, this is the stomach. The stomach you keep following and you can reach up to the duodenum. Right? This is the duodenum. This is the duodenum. Now when we know the stomach, left to stomach is the spleen. So this is the spleen. Right? That is the spleen to the left of the stomach. So that is also one structure that you have now identified. Now there is one more structure that I wish to highlight before closing this axial image. So once you know the duodenum, right? We saw the stomach opening to the duodenum and the spleen and the aorta, right? This is the aorta we already saw. We will take the vascular anatomy separately in one entire CT video. But for this video, this is the aorta. You can all follow it down. This is the spleen and this is the duodenum. This is the stomach. So in this area, there is one organ. And once you remember your anatomy, this is that organ, which is the pancreas, right? Tail of pancreas close to the spleen, head of pancreas at the duodenum, right? This is the head of the pancreas part at the duodenum. So this structure is the pancreas, right? This is the pancreas. Now behind the liver and behind the spleen you can see two big structures and these are the kidneys. Right? These are the kidneys. So that is your CT abdomen anatomy. The two kidneys, the spleen, the pancreas, duodenum, stomach, the esophagus and the aorta, right? On the right side, we have the liver and the gallbladder. So now what we will do is we will see the same structures in coronal section so that you can revise them. So in this coronal section, I am sure you remember by now, if you see the person standing, it is a coronal section. So now from above downwards, again we will revise the same structure. This is the liver, right? This is the liver. Below the liver, this white uh, fluid filled structure, hypodense structure is the gallbladder, right? So this is the liver. This small thing, I'll follow it. This is the entire gallbladder. If you can see this S-shaped thing, the cystic duct. Right? So that is the gallbladder. Right? The duct opening into the common bile duct. Right? That we will see later. So liver, gallbladder. Now we had seen the aorta. So again this white structure because this is arterial phase image. This is the aorta. Now when we come anterior to aorta you can see this air filled structure. This is the esophagus and the esophagus opens into the stomach. Right? So this is the entry point the esophagus. Now you can see easily. This is why console scan reading is very important. The esophagus opens into the 
stomach right now we will follow the stomach so keep following this right it has joined this structure so now follow this right this is all stomach this is all stomach now it is duodenum right the narrowed part beyond the pylorus right this is the duodenum and stomach so again i am tracing it for you. this is the stomach right stomach going down stomach right so you have to keep moving the console on both sides this is the stomach keep going down now this is the duodenum right you can see the gallbladder the cystic duct the common bile duct this is the duodenum now two other structures we had seen to the left of the stomach we had seen one structure right which is posterior so as we go posterior this is the spleen right this is towards the posterior abdominal wall as you can see the spleen and both kidneys right the right kidney which is slightly higher and the left kidney and the spleen right so this is spleen left kidney right kidney so this is your coronal view and one more organ that we had seen a bit difficult but we will see as we know now this is the duodenum right the stomach opening into the duodenum and as we go posteriorly this is the spleen and from duodenum to spleen horizontally lies the pancreas right so now when you go from spleen anteriorly you can see leafy structure this this is the pancreas so pancreas has this irregular border which is normal if this becomes a smooth there is loss of lobulation which is a sign of pancreatitis so this hazy structure see it is joining right up to the duodenum so now i'll trace again from duodenum this right this has come here right going here keep tracing it going here and ending here where the spleen starts right so this is the tail part of the pancreas body right the neck part of the pancreas and the head of the pancreas close to the duodenum so i think we will stop here so we have seen the liver gallbladder duodenum pancreas stomach esophagus the aorta and the spleen and kidneys in both coronal and axial images gradually we will go ahead and identify all the organs in the abdomen in both coronal and axial images and then we will start seeing the pathology so as we grow ahead you will start seeing the scans in console so keep revising scans on console with me so that you can start learning ct abdomen thank you